Hello everyone, Brad Logan here for Rebs247.com and also the Logan Media Network. Tonight's post-game report is brought to you by Debbie Johnson from Kessinger Real Estate, our real estate agent for the Logan Media Network. Also grateful for our friends at Bet Online. That's BetOnline.ag for all your betting needs. Tonight it was all Ole Miss. We knew it would be all Ole Miss. The Rebels win tonight 59-3. The question was is how would the Rebels look? How would strides be made in the quarterback department? Well, it looks like tonight that Jackson Dart probably is going to be QB1 when the Rebels face Georgia Tech next Saturday afternoon in Atlanta. The question is, is how was Luke Altmaier going to play? And to be honest with you, I thought Luke Altmaier played pretty well early on. After the interception, well, let me rephrase that. It looked like he might have gotten hit somewhere around the second quarter and irritated uh, his upper body, mainly that shoulder. And when that happened, he was not the same quarterback. Luke Altmaier came in. I'm sorry, Jackson Dart came in and played really well. But all eyes were on Michael Trigg tonight. The t- well, three touchdown catches. He's definitely a go-to for both these quarterbacks. Also, what a night by Quinshawn Juckins. The talented freshman runs for 104 yards on 10 carries. Yep, 10.4 yards a carry. Spectacular numbers. Defensively, can't ask for any better than the, the way the Ole Miss defense has been playing here lately, only uh, giving up three points to the Bayer offense. Ole Miss now 2-0. Mind you, the talent level has not been, or at least you should say the competition level hasn't been very good. It's going to definitely ramp up now. The Georgia Tech, by the way, took care of Western Carolina tonight. They'll be the next one on deck. If you remember, Georgia Tech played Clemson earlier this season pretty well. Jeff Collins is kind of fighting for his job over in Atlanta. So Ole Miss have a chance to face those Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, and it'll be definitely a pretty good fight. We appreciate you being part of the Logan Media Network and also Inside the Rebels, an affiliate of 247 Sports. You can log on there at rebs247.com. As always, thanks very much for being part of everything that we're doing here at the network. I'm Brad Logan. Be sure and follow us on Twitter at BradLoganCOTE, and we appreciate it. We'll see you down the road, and we'll see you in Atlanta next Saturday. It's Ole Miss and Georgia Tech, an ACC versus SEC showdown next Saturday.